The Israeli Hamas ceasefire is over two hours early. There are reports of Hamas rocket fire into Israel. Matthew Coleman gave us an update from Jerusalem. Two hours before a 72-hour ceasefire was due to expire on Wednesday night, uh, Palestinian militants fired two rockets across the border into Israel. One landed in open ground, another was shot down by the Iron Dome defense system. Uh, but that means that the ceasefire has now been violated. We're going to have to wait a little bit to see whether or not this means the end of everything and whether we're going to go back to the confrontation that we've seen for the last month uh, and, and more devastation in Gaza. Earlier, we heard from Israeli leaders uh, that their attitude to Hamas was hardening. We heard uh, Avigdor Liebman, the Israeli foreign minister, uh, saying that if the rocket fire began again, then Israel should settle for nothing more, nothing less than total victory against Hamas and the removal of Hamas, even if that meant escalating Israeli operations. And we heard from the uh, Israeli chief of staff, Benny Gantz, uh, that the fighting may not yet be over, and we saw a buildup of Israeli forces forces on the Gaza border. So it did seem that uh, attitudes on the Israeli side were hardening. On the Palestinian side, we see as the Palestinians try and restore their shattered and devastated lives after this month-long pounding in which thousands of homes have been destroyed, thousands of families have been left without shelter. Uh, there's severe shortages of, of water and shelter and, and other basic needs in Gaza. And even during the ceasefire, Gaza is still a, 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 a dangerous place, as we saw today when six people were killed when the uh, Palestinian uh, bomb disposal experts were trying to dismantle an Israeli missile uh, that fell in Gaza during the recent fighting, and it exploded, killing six people, including two journalists. Hamas are insisting that Israel lift the uh, seven or eight year blockade of Gaza, that they allow safe passage between Gaza and the West Bank, and that they also allow the uh, building of a seaport and an airport in Gaza. But Israel doesn't seem to be in the mood yet to comply with any of Hamas's demands. And after the Israelis walked away uh, from the ceasefire talks tonight, we heard that they had accepted an extension of the 72-hour ceasefire. It looks like the Palestinians have gone back to firing rockets. And things here between Israel and the Palestinians look very grim indeed tonight. This is Matthew Kalman for CCTV in Jerusalem.